Hey guys, Matt here. I thought I'd go ahead and make a follow-up video to the uh, last video I made, which was a uh, little test with the VAST 2016, uh, the free version. Uh, we we uh, threw some malware at it, and we got to see how it did. Um, so most of, if not all, that malware used obfuscated code. I, don't, I think that's how you say it. It's basically code that is just like jumbling bad code that hides the virus, like jumbling letters and just stuff that makes no sense. So anyway, uh, those files do not decode until you double click them and uh, open them up. So, so Vast was not able to detect that obfuscated code. So now we have uh, Vast installed, reinstalled. I just updated it a second ago. Uh, I did change a few things here. Um, we are using um, hardened mode, and we are scanning for pups, potentially unwanted programs. Hardened mode, if you mouse over it, it says, Use the advanced hardened mode to further lock down the security of this computer. This is recommended for inexperienced users. So we'll go ahead and keep that on. Uh, today was a very virusy day at work. I have oh maybe 40, 50 zero day samples that came in. So I grabbed six here. So I thought we'd go ahead and test it out. First, let's go ahead and right right click and test out a, um, a vast right click scan ability. No threat found. Let's open this up. Um, it's some kind of JavaScript. As <clears throat> soon as I try to execute it, I'm assuming uh, Avast will see through that obfuscated code and quarantine it or whatever. Yeah. Alright, so that's for number one. Let's go ahead and grab number two here. Excuse me. Thanks, I don't need you right now. Um, number two is taking its sweet time to open. There we go. It's another script, uh, Windows script. Let's see if we can open this real quick. Go off on another little tangent here. Let's type in notepad and see what this looks like. It should be all just gibberish. Yeah, it's all encoded. I mean, none of this. Yeah, none of this makes sense. It's all obfuscated. All that stuff right there. So it sucks that uh, antivirus can't detect that, or at least this one doesn't. So if I scan it, it just says, "Oh, looks fine to me." If I try to execute it, huh? I was not expecting that. Uh, so it dropped a file, this programmer feature, whatever the hell, cannot start due to 64-bit version of Windows. So this was not detected by Avast. Oh. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a little slow on the, uh, maybe something just downloaded. I don't know. It sucks that that... Shit, I don't want to do that right now. It sucks that that's not detected right away. Okay, let's go ahead and grab uh, sample number three. Ba -ba Everything is very super slow in here, which makes me wonder what's going on now. Another script host. Has been yeah. Okay, good. Um, number four. It's probably the same thing. So things are still downloading. If <laughs> yeah. See what I'm talking about? Something's on here. It's downloading these things. So something got through. And now Avast is just kind of keeping them at bay. Uh, 
So, you know what that means. I'm going to have to do another, like, second opinion type thing. I'll probably do it with Malrobites. Uh, let's see if we can scan it now. Does it still say it's clean, even though we double-clicked on it and it gave us bad stuff? Uh, this thing's becoming almost unresponsive now. Yeah. Oop. There we go. White screen. Okay, I'm not clicking on anything, so something is downloading. Something has made it through. Oh, I just saw a command prompt. Alright, one last file. <clears throat> we'll do this brute time scan. We'll see what they say. Um, just try to execute it. Yeah, okay. So it um, it does a fair job at detecting stuff, but it obviously lets something through. Um, so now we need to do a boot time scan. So, okay. I need to get dinner anyway. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, sure, go ahead. We'll see what the boot time scan looks like. It's been a while since I've used it. But uh, there's definitely mal malware on here now. Oh, it's going to do updates. All right, I'll be right back. All right, well, I just came back downstairs, and uh, I see it's scanning. So it's at 11%. There's nothing on this computer, so it shouldn't take too long. So we'll see what it comes up with. Well, that kind of sucks. It just uh, rebooted, and I was out of the room, and um, I don't know what it found or anything else. So I'm just going to get all these little guys together. Oops. Took me to do that. Yeah, I know. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I wish it would say, okay, a threat came from this file. Let's go ahead and delete this file, even though we can't read it. Uh, say scan. Let's just get those out of the way. Yeah, so this machine's probably been compromised because it is super slow. I just have a spinning wheel now constantly. And things are just downloading over and over again. All right, so I can't just stop this video right now. I, I need to go further. I need to run like a boot time, no, like an offline scan, like a Kaspersky rescue disk type of scan. So I'm going to see if I can put that together. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm booted into a offline environment using the Kaspersky Rescue Disk. I did, did uh, do an update a few seconds ago. Um, let's go ahead and do an object scan. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's kind of pointless to do those. We're just going to scan the C drive. Let me make sure C is right. SDA1. Okay, I don't care about SDA. Well, we'll do SDA1 and C. We'll go into settings. And let's see. I don't need to scan archives. Well, I do actually. So screw it. I want to see if it scans those archives on the desktop that are already there. All right, well, it's going to be a while. Time to grab some din din. All right, it is done scanning. <clears throat> I'm almost choked to death just now on my soda, so hang on. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this object. It detected a, uh, a Windows script file that was uh, looks like it was part of a system restore point. And if that's all it detects, that's pretty pretty good. <clears throat> so
So as long as the samples keep coming in like they are lately, um, I should be able to do plenty of videos. Um, other videos coming out will be just quick little tutorials on how to do something in Windows 10. Uh, I need to kind of expand my audience a little bit. So, <clears throat> oddly enough, um, the how-to videos are, they get the most views. Uh, so, it's kind of in my interest to do them, but I do like to test out, you know, I don't know what it is with me. I just like to test out these different antiviruses and see if they live up to their hype and stuff. <clears throat> oh, well, it is still going. I can tell that. Okay, there we go. Uh, another, looks like restore point. Um, Windows script and now we have <clears throat> a JS that it detects it's looking inside the zip file which it can scan inside it can scan that JS file and see that it is indeed uh, malicious so it, it decoded that obfuscated code basically <clears throat> uh, this would be some kind of ransomware kind of odd it's a dot text file it's probably one of those things saying hey we encrypted all your stuff same thing delete delete text file <clears throat> there might be a lot of these all right so that sucks um, right here is basically an executable that Avas left behind which is a ransomware um, piece of malware that would encrypt your entire computer you've got to pay them anywhere from like a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars in bitcoins to get your files back <clears throat> otherwise you're screwed and um, Avast left that there in a temp folder sorry about the dog barking he's really uh, driving me crazy tonight I've got a beagle and uh, Anytime I record a video, I have to shut him out of the room. Otherwise, he sits there and snores, and I can't take that. So he's going to have to wait a few minutes. <clears throat> so, yeah, all the ransomware out there you see these days usually goes to app data, local, temp. And that would be under the user's profile. Um, you should if you can lock down that directory um, there are programs out there I think it's a oh what is it called foolish IT I don't know they, they somebody makes a a crypto locker or crypto prevent type tool um, <clears throat> it's kinda hard to use it's kinda hard to lock down this folder in the corporate environment since so many uh, executables that are used for business um, go in there or not executables, they could be anything, little plugins, stuff like that. So here's another one I left. And another one. Another one. <clears throat> another one. It's uh, like, here's another great example of how good Kaspersky is. It scans right inside that zip file and scans that JS file, decodes it, and says that's malicious. All right, so you get the clue. There was just a a ton of uh, malware that was uh, left over. It's kind of weird. There's no way I'm going to be giving my friends or clients a vast right now. There's no way. Anyway, uh, I gotta go uh, take care of my dog now. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.